Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Two Point Campus. You join us in Freshly Meadows where we are beginning the two and three star objectives for this, the first level in the new career mode in Two Point Campus. So we're doing a little bit of rearranging because we need to get our dormitory rating up over 70%. So I've redesigned some of the dorms here and I think I've found the one that's going to carry me for the rest of the way. So we're just going to duplicate that and replace all of our old dormitories with this new two bed layout of course it says one bed for five students works i don't really like that i'd prefer to have more dormitories so that each student had their own bed i mean whatever they do in terms of fornication and meeting up with other students out of hours and doing that in their dormitories is not something i'm privy to so i don't really care <laughs> but you know if we have one student getting their own double bed in your dormitory it should be okay and i'll be happy with that and it'll feel a little bit more realistic to me in this zany world of two point campus so we're just selling off all of our old dormitories and doing a little bit of redevelopment those of you who do watch my two point hospital playthroughs will know that this is just how i do everything when i get that one star goal taking place i do a little bit of redevelopment before we start on the two star and then when it comes to three star it's just a complete overhaul and then you will just see the three star objective because most of these objectives are very similar it's just like a level up from what you've done a little bit different as you will find out in two point campus because there are some new objectives that get introduced when you graduate to that third star anyway our two star objectives are to get a campus level of nine earn $150,000, get our dormitory rating up. As you can see, it is flying up now. There we're at 93% and satisfy 10 personal goals. So the 10 personal goals, they'll come about every now and then. There'll be like an inbox request from a student, maybe a staff member as well, although I've not seen that yet. I'm just speculating here. Getting a few cues at this vending machine, so we're going to put another one in and we'll duplicate the cheesy gubbins one as well. And we will get a couple of kiosks in along the way, so we'll be doing like hot dogs, vegetables and coffee stands and stuff. They all need assistance. I am going to hire a few more janitors. Lionel McBoatface is a very good one. Uh, I don't know if anyone saw the news recently, but Boaty McBoatface has been doing wonders out in the Arctic or wherever he's exploring. We're going to get another assistant in to work in our library. We do have two libraries now. And we're just going to need to make sure that we've got people staffing that. Also, when we do eventually build the kiosks, we will be putting assistance in those kiosks. They do need to be manned by a staff member. We have prospective students coming in here. Uh, they basically act as the tour guides like you used to have in Two Point Hospital, where you would get like a new um a, like a pop star visiting or the mayor would visit students will come in to check out the courses that you've got see how good they are before giving you a reward it's kudos cash and then potential new signups for a course when you get to your next academic year we're getting a lot of requests for stuff that i don't have the kudos to buy so we're just gonna not entertain those ideas but it is affecting our ability to satisfy those 10 personal goals uh, luckily it doesn't affect anything else that is level 9 campus achieved which is really good it means we've only got two objectives left to fulfill then we'll hit that two star objectives you can see our inspectors are leaving the campus now so we'll get an assessment score from those students that have been inspecting that course uh, we are satisfying personal goals gradually though as well because there will be students requesting specific items that are already on campus then they'll find them and that will satisfy their goal i imagine that's how it works because i'm getting them without getting a request into my inbox so that's good we've got five of ten there Pat mcguffin wants a pulpitation machine uh, i again don't have the kudos to give them it so we just have to deal with that and hope there we go we got 10 kudos the open date was a success uh they think the campus is a part of their future for better or for worse and we've gained two scientography applicants for next semester the next term six of ten personal goals complete and the money's rolling in nicely we're probably going to hit that in the next couple of minutes which is really good someone's just upgraded to an a and it looks like salem riddle really needs the toilet just go you can study later you fool weed infestation i've not seen what these look like is that one no that's an actual decorative show oh that's one over there where the janitor is going well that's good to know just finishing putting those benches in but i've just noticed we've got a records cubicle quest for the library and it helps with um scientography coursework basically so we'll get rid of the basic study cubicle and we'll put one in now the libraries you can actually have them specified i think for a particular course so if you can get things that boost the 
um, rating of your Scientography courses and just have like a specific library for Scientography, you would fill them with those machines to boost the learning and experience given in that particular course. I think that's how it works, but I will look into it more in the next level. Oh, they really want this double jump bed, but they're not getting it. Neon Guitar, however, we can do that, and that should be our final Satisfy 10 Personal Goals uh, number to get us finished and the two star ranks will be complete. So these stands need assistance, we're going to hire a few more. Oh, before we do though, two star objectives completed. Nice, we've unlocked the bath time statue. Amazing. And a nice reward of money and kudos and uh, why didn't we make it this good the first time? I um, wasn't experienced enough, leave me alone. God. Wow. Right, okay, staff going into sell food and drink. Our next objectives, upgrade a course to level 4, 10 A grade classes and 10 students graduating. So let's get to work on that. We're still making a nice monthly profit. Uh, XP bonus was a little bit low that time, but the more students we get in learning and the better our facilities are, the more XP we'll get, which will increase our monthly profit. So that's good to know. Let's see what we can do. We can upgrade. We have course points here. Now, you get course points uh, by increasing the level of your campus. So every year you will get the ability to spend those on upgrading your courses basically almost at the end of year two so we'll see how this goes and then uh, we'll jump ahead uh, i should have enough money uh, at the end of this year to upgrade hopefully uh scientography to level four Frequently asked questions. and then we can do a little bit of a jiggery pokery and developing our rooms and trying to get them up as high as possible because the happiness rating is starting to drop quite significantly so that's something that we're going to have to take a quick look at. People not enjoying their time here at the moment. We've got someone wants a crescent bench. Uh, I can, I will allow you to have the crescent bench, okay? We put it outside right here on the courtyard. And we put another one there. We move this just to here. So we're doing pretty well. Uh, academic year is done. We will see what awards we've got. Nobody's graduated yet, but we have 30 continuing. Nobody expelled, failed, or dropped out. Average exam result of 82%, and the most popular campus around according to the students themselves. I'll take that, that'll do. <laughs> right, we have a nice monthly profit there, $31,000. We're gonna pause it and just have a look at what we need to do. We've gotta get lecture theater, science lab, VR lab, and some more teachers. Once we've done that, we can probably do a little bit of moving around and kind of redevelop things, so. I'm going to start by copying this lecture theatre. We're just going to put it in the extra room that we've bought ourselves. Uh, I kind of wish I'd bought this without the building and just built it myself. But Oh, campus level up. That gives us 10 improvement points for one of our courses, which will get us closer to upgrading one to level four. Scientography being the one that we're doing. We'll get this science lab put in and then we'll put in a VR lab again. I'm just going to copy this one and I believe I can make this one smaller. So I'm probably going to do that because I don't think it's going to fit. Yeah, it's not really, it's going to block that corridor there, it backs out onto the door over there. Well then, what we're going to do is we're going to dump it in the middle and then I'm going to adjust it and get it in place properly. So we'll just pop it down there and then we can move stuff around. Just putting it back in place there and there we go, it's smaller, it fits in, there's a nice little corridor there. version of what had come before it. We just need to get some teachers. Poppy Compost is a good... We'll bring them in. Uh, another Scientography teacher. Look, not. Yeah, okay, that'll do. And then another a VR teacher. Uh, D Brick. Yeah, we'll put D Brick in. Oh. One idiot. D Brick is not a Scientography teacher, is she? No. Right, okay. Uh, Scientography... Um, VR teacher. D Brick is a Scientography teacher. What a fool. Right, let's see. We only have 20 course points, so we can't upgrade Scientography yet. We're not going to use it upgrading Virtual Normality. Uh, we're we're going to focus on Scientography. So we'll save our course points for now and just start the next academic year, and then we'll focus on upgrading. All of these changes don't take effect until the next academic year. So we'd need to do a whole year anyway. 
with just our Scientography at level two. I think that's how it works. Now, I think we should have some third year students who will be graduating this year. If we've got 10, we'll be able to knock that one out straight away. And we just need to get them up to A grade in all of their classes, which should happen now that they've been here for three years. Just having a look at the level that they're at. So you've got a lot here that are at a very high grade and in third year. We can actually have a look at what they're doing. So here we've got C, what was that? Okay, how to share an atom. <laughs> uh, we've got some meeting up with uh, spouses, uh, some are idle, and you're in free time in the campus building. But yeah, they're all doing pretty well on the course, so I'm expecting them all to graduate, and I think there are 10, yep, uh, yeah, 10 year threes, 20 year twos, and 27 year ones. So a lot of new newbies. Now, one of the new features that I really like about Two Point Campus is the ability to build your own campus buildings, which is totally different to Two Point Hospital, where you just had to unlock a building that was pre-made. Uh, you still have the option, as you saw in the first episode, to build to, to buy a plot of land that already had a building on it and use that building immediately. But being able to build your own, set where the doorways are and change the shape is such a good uh, change. And I'm really looking forward to using that. And probably when I buy my next plot, I'll, uh, I'll build uh, my own plot. So we need to get courses upgraded to level four and 10 A grade classes still. Uh, I think we have upgraded our level, so we should have some course points here. We've got 30. We're gonna upgrade this to level three, confirm that, and then it's one more upgrade on that and we should be good. Uh, it's going really well. I'm really enjoying this first level. It's teaching me quite a lot already and that's quite nice. I don't have enough kudos for things that they want though. <laughs> So we're going to build our second plot now, and I am going to do that by creating my own plot, as I've already said, uh, because it's just going to give us a lot more space to use, and I'm thinking about how I can redevelop this entire campus moving forward. We'll probably make this a huge dormitory right in the centre, move Scientography to this building, and VR in the building further up. I think that makes the most sense. It uh, seems to be the best way to develop this. And then we've got all of the green space outside that we can work on. So let's build it. We've got a weed there. I wonder if that is... Oh, what's this? Oh, our career hub. Okay, we get kudos for all of these friendships, romance, uh, library stuff. 100 assignments complete in the library. Level up 100 normality students. Money, making money making and spending kudosh okay that's cool that gives us a nice little bit of kudosh dropped in there so we can unlock some more items we're up to 330 which is really nice uh we'll uh, have a look at what we can get the two player arcade table i'm not gonna bother but there are a few things where were they not rooms items if there was a bookcase that i wanted to buy that helped with uh, i think it might have been the vr course or it might have where are they it's not there, it's not exterior. Let's just have a search, book, no, it doesn't work. Okay, I'll just, I'll, uh, it's not there either, is it? Nope, I'll have to wait. I'll just wait for someone to request it because it'll probably come through. They'll need it for an assignment and then we can uh, put it in. Right, let's do some redeveloping, I guess. That should be our next move. So, I think we'll and no, just have a quick a little hospital. look. We need to I've hire some more things. staff before we do anything else because as you can see, we've got some empty kiosks here. So I'm going to sell, sell, uh, hire a few more staff members to uh, cope with that. We've got happy thoughts, aerodynamics, which increases their movement speed. Okay, we'll put them in. Uh, momentum marbles for an assignment. Okay, we'll buy that. And that goes in our scientography building where can we fit it we can probably rotate it there and there we go right okay so these rooms you upgrade them as you go and that's our campus leveling up which again gives us more course points that's another 10 virtual normality bookcase that's what we want we're going to put this one in here and then we'll remove one of the basic bookcases and then put our virtual normality bookcase in place and that will improve the coursework that takes place a rose garden they've been asking for this for a while so i think i'll put it in it makes sense uh, and again it helps with like romantic connections so that they've got somewhere to go and hang out with their spouses i want to keep my students happy so there we go we've got it in you've got somewhere to go and snuggle with your loved one <laughs> and i think we upgraded as well so what does that put us up to 25 course points five more course points and we are good we've got Two or three assignments. Now is one last push for our course management so we can upgrade our course to level four. 
let's just have a quick look at our students our third year students and the grade they're on Viper you gotta step this up man where are you? free time can I change this person's timetable? I like make them go to more classes I can't create a new event I need them to study more I want them to get extra assignments because you are in danger of failing we make them go to another class <laughs> we just make them do doubles give them extra work we are projector requiring a vr lab we don't have enough kudosh for that and we don't have enough kudosh for the uh, microscope so sorry we'll just have to do without right let's redevelop let's uh, build our new canvas building we're gonna have a door there and then we're just gonna fill up this entire grassy area for our new campus building i could put another door in but Based on where the paths and stuff are, I think I'm just going to leave it there. Just ignore all of these things. I can't can't fulfill any of these tasks. I've got stuff to do. Stop bothering me, students. It's hard work being a dean. Go away, Ace Morang. Um, <laughs> so, redeveloping. I think what we'll probably do is... I could put dormitories in that new space, but I think I would rather go with my original idea of moving courses into that big building. So we'll put our Scientography into that building and virtual normality which is a lesser attended course into that other space here will just be a big dormitory with showers toilets and stuff like that i think that makes the most sense we'll put in like the student rec room I've got to get another assistant there oh our academic year is over graduates time let's see what awards we got and graduates 47 continuing no expelled no failed no dropouts 82 percent exam results King of Hearts awarded to the campus that cultivated the best social relationships, all because of our benches and our flower gardens, and the most popular campus around again, according to the students. Oh, I'm happy with that. We've done really well. Congratulations, graduates. You are the first ones from this university. Uh, we only have 25 course points to upgrade Scientography, though, so we still need to carry on with that. We're going to jump ahead, do a little redevelopment, and then get another science lab and another virtual normality set of teachers. So what we've finished with now is 15 dormitories. We've split our courses across the other two buildings so that we have all of the Scientography stuff in one building and all of the virtual normality in another. All we've got left to do here is put in a bathroom and a shower room. And we're just going to have like a nice extended bathroom all the way along this area and then build our shower room. Uh, one thing I am struggling with is when you put these rooms down, I can't seem to find a way to extend them um, we're just gonna make sure that we're able to do that so I think if I just declare that room as done and then edit it and then I should be able to put in two more blocks we're gonna bring it all the way along so that it matches this corridor here and then we should be able to fit in a load more cubicles and stuff we'll put in some hand sanitizers uh, the usual sort of stuff you would put in the toilets with the sinks and the hand dryers uh, I wonder if we can have two doors Let's, uh, we'll, we'll have a look at that, uh, because that would be interesting. Let's have a look. Edit room. Sinks, hand dryers. We'll put some hand dryers on this side so that people can use them as they exit. And then we'll put some hand sanitizers on the wall there. And sinks will go all the way along this area here. We are upgrading the bathroom gradually. It's prestige level four by the looks of things. And uh, yeah, looking pretty good. <laughs> lots of sinks, lots of toilets. So students should have plenty of space to go. I think 10's good for the sinks. We can put some posters and stuff in, but again, we don't have the kudosh at the moment. Let's see if we can put in another door. We can, which makes perfect sense, having door access from two sides. Really good idea. Well done, devs. Uh, having multiple doors in your toilets is just every person's dream. <laughs> More sans, hand sanitizers, and that's that done. Right, we're going to put in a shower room, which is going to be pretty big with lots of showers put in. We're going to have a go along there and we'll put a door on that side and then start with our cubicles let's have a look rotate these round and put them against that back wall there moving along and along keep going six cubicles there and then i'll just confirm that and then once again we'll go into the edit and then we'll extend it 
there will definitely be another way to do that and i'm completely missing it because i'm useless and like to make things difficult for myself which if any of you have watched before you'll know this we'll put more showers along here so we can get another six in and this is going to be huge dormitory uh so it's not too much of an issue uh when it comes to having people have a lack of stuff we should be fine we put one more row of shower cubicles in do we want them facing each other so that they can shower and look at each other at the same time <laughs> It's a bit weird, but we're going to do it. You can definitely pull a curtain across, so you'll be fine. We'll put a load of towels in. You think they share towels? That's a bit gross, isn't it? Who comes in and cleans the towels for them? Oh, God. I did once live with a guy who he never washed his towel, and it was like the most disgusting thing ever. <laughs> we'll put some hand dryers in. They look like the ones that you can turn around so you can dry your face, so that's fine. And we'll put another door in. That is such a good little, like a nifty little tool to, to really finish it off, giving the ability to access the showers from two different sides. Right, let's get another two virtual normality teachers before we carry on and we can start the next term. Isabel Hawke, you'll be our last... Wait, Roger Gold. Who else have we got? Ned Payback. Nothing. Nah, we'll just go with Ned. And then we can uh, start the uh, next year. And we have 35 course points to spend. Maybe we upgraded. We must have got an upgrade by developing like that. And there we have it. Three star objectives done. Freshly Meadows is complete. Lightbulb statue unlocked. That's really good. Great work. And anyway, you could, that's kind of how I would redevelop it and make it a better campus. And I'll have to take that in the next time. Obviously, I'm going to put a couple of kiosks in. We've got requests for the veggie kiosk, so we'll put two of them in. I could have done more here, like put the benches and stuff in, and that would have been further development. We'll start the next academic year. Obviously, lots more stuff we can put in, but at the moment, I'm pretty happy. We moved everything around, we made some libraries that were a little bit bigger, and obviously that's what pushed us up to the completion level. Just having a quick look at the academic league table. Obviously, these are uh, like AI competitors. We're, we're, we did well there. Numbers level was not great. Pass rate was 100% screw you lot um <laughs> grades not amazing students low level but yeah profit really good kudosh terrible stars terrible rear terrible <laughs> but we're just starting out and this is only the beginning folks i hope you enjoyed this as much as i did playing it and i'm really loving the game so far it's so colorful and bright and casual but it's got a nice challenge to it as well and a good learning curve stick around for the next lot and i will see you all next time Goodbye, look after yourselves and have a great day.